welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Mosso and it's Glitzy Gem. Thank you for joining me here today. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe. The notification bell. Also give my video a thumbs up. And for those who are returning subscribers, mm, welcome. Much love to you guys. Thank you for being huge loyal supporters of my channel. You know, and sticking by there with me through my YouTube journey. Really do appreciate you guys. So thank you for being here. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and do a My July's Ice Cream Beauty Box. I know I'm behind. And you just got to see my sleigh glam this morning. And um, now I'm doing my ice cream beauty box for July. So please excuse me. The only excuse I have is just that I'm just, you know, I just have a lot of things pending. And I just haven't had a chance to get to them. And I know y'all probably seen the, seen, seen, y'all probably already seen this box like a bajillion times. Hopefully you're able to stick around and watch, you know, my thoughts and opinions on this, on this box. <laughs> I don't like if I give a lot of opinions and thoughts about stuff, do I? <laughs> um, so the theme for this month is called July Independent Queen. You have a lot of chess pieces. Well, not a lot, but you have some chess pieces here on the card. So I, I know I've seen some spoilers and I really did like what I saw. First off, I, did, I do want to say, you know... First off, I do want to say that they have great, excellent customer service. I had a damaged product in my last um, box, so they went ahead and they replaced the item, and the item that that was damaged was the Chantico Beauty Genesis Duo Chrome Eyeshadow. This is the one that shifts from fuchsia to sky blue. This is like one of my favorite shadows. Um, yeah. I probably would gravitate towards wearing this every single day if I could but you know I mean there's just so many colors in the rainbow that you know I, I I just have to try but this is one of my favorite colors and so they have really excellent customer service and replacing it if they can't replace it they'll either give you your money back or you know like give you like a partial refund so I gotta say their customer service is excellent really do like that Okay, the next thing we have here is an eyeshadow palette by Delancey Multichrome Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is very interesting because this almost reminds me of the shades that are from the Chantico Beauty. If Chantico Beauty came out with the eyeshadow palette, I think this would be the eyeshadow palette for Chantico Beauty if they come with like, if, if they have a, a um, eyeshadow palette with these multi-chromes or dual chrome eyeshadows, this would be the palette for them, <clears throat> you know, the Delancey, because these shades come close to the Chantico, but I think the Chantico is more pigmented. Um, these just kind of come off a little... Um, a little lighter than usual so I'm swatching them for you guys so I can show you what I'm talking about so so as you can see they're supposed to be multi-chrome and they do shift in shade but they're very light like a very light shift very well very lightly pigmented and that Chantico Beauty is very heavily pigmented, which I really do like a lot on the Chantico Beauty. I fell in love with their pigments. So, yeah, here's a swatch for this palette here. Not bad. I love it. I'm not saying that it's not a good, it's not a good, they're not good shadows. They are. They're just lighter than the Chantico Beauty one. And I can actually use, you can wear these alone, but they're just, I think they're just too light. I think these go well as like inner corner highlights or they do well as like, um shimmers for the lid and the the chantico beauty one that one you know you can wear it alone you know that's how pigmented that eyeshadow palette is that, that eyeshadow is you know um the next thing i have here is the is the kaveen kaveen the queen or queen I always say it right off camera, but whenever I come on camera, it just, 
the, the word just slips away. Queen. Queen. This is the Queen Ice Cream Highlighter. And you know, I, I can't go too much without highlighters. I love highlighters. Look at that beautiful shade. Oops. The component didn't stick too well. I barely pulled on it and it just popped right out. And now it doesn't want to stay. <laughs> I'm trying to pop this top off. So, so a no on the component. <laughs> Where's some glue? <laughs> So I'll just have to be careful with this whenever I apply it. I just have to, I don't need the component, the, the packaging. I'll just use this, just raise it up and raise it down. I'm so glad that the, retract, the retractable component is not broken. It's just the outer part that just came apart. It's okay. You know, it's okay. I don't need a new one because this product is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. <clears throat> and I love this shade. I think the shade is very universal. The lighter ones, you know, come on like a great cast. So that's what I've known from seeing my experience with highlighters. You know, they need like a great cast if it's if it's not your right shade, you know. Or maybe the formula is, is what does it. So who knows? And then the next two items I have here are by Chantico Beauty. Yay, I love, I, I felt I had fallen in love with Chantico Beauty ever since they came out with their duo, the multi or duo chrome shadows. I fell in love with them. And I'm not even giving you prices. So the four color multi chrome palette by Delancey was $25. The what is it? The Queen Highlighter was $18. Okay, so those are the two items. And then we have the Chantico Beauty that was replacement from the last box. Now we have two Liquid Duo Chrome Eyeshadows by Chantico Beauty. These are $38. Uh, so it says we're including not one but two Chantico Beauty Liquid Duo Chrome Shadows to allow you to exper experiment with even more chrome shades. The shades we chose are meant to be night and day. Feeling a little adventurous? These can also be used on your lips. Oh, wow, they can, wow. All right, so we have the shade. Uh, I see numbers, I don't see names. Okay, so number 1128Y is this one here 1128Y Y yeah 1128Y so this one is a, a white multi chrome dual chrome liquid eyeshadow I think we had already received one like this before I'm not sure not by Chantico Beauty but from a different from a different brand go ahead and swatch that here wow it has a really nice really nice pigmentation I'm telling you when it comes to pigmentation Chantico Beauty is it oh my goodness these are some really nice uh, indie brand Chantico B is a really nice indie brand type uh, makeup company that has really good quality dual chrome shimmers when it comes to anything shiny this is how my finger looks like so you, you see how it shifts like to a purple or fuchsia color that's coming from from this white from that white um, liquid eyeshadow then this is this is two one two three Y, yeah two one two three Y Y two one two three Y, and this one is a darker, like it's a I want to say like, Abergine, 
color. Oh, let's open this up and let's watch it. There we go. This is really nice. Spread it out. Oh wow, look at that. It spreads out really well. So you can see the two shades there. You can see the shift, the flip in this one on the 2123Y. And then on this one, the, the top, the white one. I'm not sure if you can see it flip. But there it is. The next thing we have is the ethereal palette, which is supposed to be like the the knockoff or the imitation or dupe for the the, the Huda Beauty Empowered palette, I believe, or the Naughty palette. I'm not sure. One of the two, the Empowered or the Naughty. It's supposed to be a dupe for that. Wow, I have actually both already, so I may just put this in a giveaway for you guys. What do y'all think? Y'all like it? Give me your comments down below. Let me know if y'all like that palette, that ethereal palette. Let me know if y'all like it. The bag actually had the rose, the one that's like supposed to be like the rose quartz um, dupe. I didn't get the, the bag this month, which is okay because I just wanted to get the box because um, I really liked everything they had in the box than the bag. The, I like what it had in the bag, but the, the most that I liked the most was the rose quartz eyeshadow palette from that bag, but um, I already have the rose quartz eyeshadow palette from Pretty Beauty, so I could have done without it. And I could have done without that palette as well, the, the ethereal one that I just received. But um, I liked everything else. I like the dual chromes. Now we have <clears throat> the star of the show, which is the Hot Mess Mama uh, Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Hot Mess Mama. It is Hot Mess Mama. So let's go ahead and open this up for you guys and show you the liquid lip. I love this, like, nude, nudie. Nudie but plum, pinky plum nude, mauve tone. I love it. I love this shade because it just it just flatters my skin tone, and I think it flatters a lot of other other skin tones as well. Because it's not only just can not only can it be nude, but you can see like some pink and mauve shades in this. In in like in this lip liquid lipstick, as you know, like you know, undertones of like mauvey, pink, and nude. Love that. I love that because it gives you like it gives you a color. It's not like it's a a nude where it's just you don't see any color. It's just bare. This one actually gives you some color. So I really do appreciate that. And they actually did pretty good because the, the eyeshadow palette does match this liquid lipstick. So I'm so glad that I got liquid lipstick so I can use with my Huda Beauty Naughty palette or Empowered palette. Whichever palette this is supposed to do. But, um, so, again, I didn't tell what the prices were. So the Ethereal palette was $19 and the Hot Miss Mama liquid lipstick was $20. So in total, everything was... Let me use the calculator. Okay. Came out to $120. So it's $120. That's what the value is in this box. I'm excited. I haven't been disappointed with Ice Cream Beauty. I think Ice Cream Beauty has been up in their game a lot. And um, I really... I really would have liked to have gotten the beauty bag. You know, even though, you know... It's like a dupe of the Rose Quartz palette, but I would have really liked to have gotten it. But it's okay. I, you know, I was on a budget. I had to just purchase what I, what I could this month, so that's okay with me. So, yeah, leave me your comments down below. Let me know what was your favorite product. Let me know, do you have Ice Cream Beauty? Y'all waiting for y'all's um, 
Well, are y'all waiting for y'all's August box to come in already? Are y'all excited for our next ice cream bitty box? We still haven't seen any spoilers that I know of. So, um, hopefully the spoilers are pretty good. I just, I just don't want to speak too soon because this box really like knocked, knocked out of the park. So, I don't know if this box for August will compare to the box that we had in July. So, yeah. Leave me your comments down below. Let me know what you thought and leave me your thoughts and opinions. I do appreciate it. I would really, really like to know and get your feedback on this. So, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me here today. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you all. Have a great, wonderful day. Mm.